Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're going to take a look at the uh, Empire Prophecies. This is the um, obviously the black with green parts prophecy right here. This is the new um, the new version, the new upgraded version. It has the new metal feed neck and the uh, new belt drive in it. Um, give you some just some overall um, features of it. Uh, it is a sound activated loader. Uh, runs on two 9 volt batteries. We'll show you where those goals where those go. Um, the loader itself uh, holds more than a standard halo. Uh, basic halo holds roughly 180 balls, um, depending on how you smash them in there. Just with this, with the standard nose cone, um, the basic cone on it right here, this is the standard sized nose cone. This holds 240 balls approximately, and then they'll have a larger nose cone which will hold I think 280, and then the smaller nose cone that you can get for this which will hold about 200 balls. So just as it is, right out of the box, um, gonna hold more than your standard Halo does. Uh, you've got rip drive on the bottom, just in case. Right now it comes with a magnetic lid. Okay, now there is speed feeds for it, which we'll do other videos for, snapping lids. Um, easy to use on-off system on the back. Zoom in here, you've got uh, on-off toggle right here making it easy to turn off and turn on. Then you've got um, your uh, motor advance button right here so that you can cycle the, the motor without um, having to yell at it or anything because it is sound activated. And then uh, your mode select button right here. So you're gonna, mostly you're gonna use these for when you're doing your programming and everything, but um, for right now it's just, you know, you're gonna use, gonna use this one for your motor advance so you can spin it uh, and just make sure that it's pushing paint. So we've got that. Go back out a little bit here. Now again, this this loader um, disassembles completely with no tools. You can do it all by hand. Uh, it is very, very simple to take apart. Um, pretty simple to put back together. There are some complicated parts when we start to deal with this side shell right here. Uh, they have to fit in just right, otherwise your loader does not go back together. Um, but let's kind of take it apart and give you some, uh, some ideas on how easy it is. Um, the nose cone is going to come off with this button right here I can push on it and there's another tab to push on the bottom down here so I grab them both thumb, fingers, push them down and I can slide the nose cone right off Okay. so now that leaves us with a loader with no no front to it basically All right. you can see down inside there you can see the drive cone down in here um, you can also see that your battery harness right inside here to get to the battery harness, we want to unhook this front part right here from the tray. Okay, this is your tray, and then this comes up through the tray. You can see it pops through there. So the easiest way to do it is you just push on it from the bottom, and you can push the tray right up off of it. See how that kind of pops up there? Like that. So then we can basically pull this open, and we can just take our battery door, our battery tray, right out, just like that. Now we could also take the whole tray off. Now you can see there's a tab right here, and there's one on the other side right here. Okay, so we could grab them both and lift them up and out, but we want to take these side pieces off before we do that. So this is your four double A's that would go inside here. Now you could also use, um, there's an adapter that comes with it, or that doesn't come with it, that's available, that you can purchase, um, so that you can use two 9-volt batteries. Um, I know a lot of people are take one 9-volt battery and they connect it to it like that. I don't recommend running one 9-volt battery on it. It really wasn't designed for it, so um, I would not do it. Okay. So, um, got that there. So from this point right here, if we were going to continue to take it apart, actually we'll keep it all apart right there. Uh, the next step I would do right here is I would remove the feed neck out of here. Um, basically you can see this was the release pin for the front nose cone or the release tab. I'm going to push it down and I can grab the, the feed neck insert and kind of just slide it right out. You can see that it kind of just fits right into this that little section right there. 
you can just grab it and slide it right out. That's going to leave us to um, basically now we're going to take the the feed neck off and the two side pieces off. Um, before we do that, the back plate right here has to come off. Okay. Now the easiest way to do this is to turn it so that the bottom of the loader right here is facing towards you. Okay. And if you can see right here, there's a little tab where my finger is. You're going to push on that tab, kind of like that, and you're going to pop it open. You can use this little nub right here if you want. So push on it, and you can pull it towards yourself. I can get a better grip on it here. Okay, just like that. Okay, now you can see I've got the tab out of there already. And it kind of just folds open like a door. You know, you're going to push on it from the bottom, pushing this way, and it's going to just pop open like that. And I can pull that right off. If you don't take this off, you're not going to be able to get these off very easily without potentially breaking something. So we got that off. We can lift up the magnetic lid. The nice thing about these is this, these are two separate pieces right here. These these uh, these halves, and you can see that I can pull them apart when the lid is shut like that. So what I can do to make this really easy is if I lift up the lid, okay, you can see the lid is open, I can pull these two pieces apart, and basically I can just lift the lid right out. Now when you pull the lid out, you do want to remember that there is a spring inside here. You can see the, the spring is sitting right down inside there. So you want to make sure that you get that spring and put it to the side. Okay, you don't want to lose that spring hard to see. So we'll keep it right here. I usually just stick it to one of the magnets like that and put it to the side. That way I don't lose it. 